Greetings, in this video we are going to talk about the forgotten gut organ. With the onset of many gut conditions like SIBO, leaky gut, IBS, so many people are starting to scrutinize the digestive system. A lot of people take a look at the mouth because that is actually where we take in food. So they're thinking that the foods are causing these conditions. People are also looking at the small intestine because many of these conditions are housed right inside of the small intestine. But I do believe there is one more organ that people need to take a look at because it does participate and it has a role in gut dysfunction when it is not working properly. And that organ happens to be the colon. It is also known as the large intestine, the large bowel, and sometimes referred to as the gut. So this organ plays a huge role in the digestive system. So let's take a look at four facts that you need to remember when you consider the colon as part of the digestive system. Fact number one. The colon is actually designed as our water conservation stop. We are land animals and we are surrounded by air. So we had to have some type of conservation system inside of the body. One of the things that we have is the colon and the colon actually retrieves water from the lumen to make sure that we have enough hydration inside of the body. So you can best believe that if the colon is not functioning properly and this water is not retrieved in a timely manner, we are going to experience dysfunction inside of the digestive system as well as the entire body. Fact number two, the colon finalizes the digestion process. The small intestine actually completes the digestion process, but the colon is the finalizer. Kind of think of it like a photographer who renders a photo shoot and then you pick out the portraits that you like, but then the photographer has to put on the finishing touches. So it's the same thing with the colon. The colon has to add the finishing touches so that it can produce the physical matter that we would discard from the body. If this finalization process is disrupted, then we will have dysfunction inside of the digestive system. Fact number three, the colon houses more than 50% of our immune system. It actually oversees the fight that is happening between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. If the colon is busy managing a backlog of waste material inside of the body, then it's going to disrupt the balance that is maintained inside of the immune system. And all of a sudden, you're going to have a body that is experiencing a lot of immune dysfunction. So it's definitely another organ that needs to be considered when we're looking at gut conditions. Fact number four, the colon is a major eliminative organ. It is responsible for making sure that the physical waste material is discarded through the exit and out of the body. So the colon actually manages gut flow. If there is a backlog of waste and that waste is not moved out of the body timely, the gut is going to experience dysfunction. The one thing that I want you to remember is the forgotten gut organ. So what I have done is I have put together a graphic guide to help you to understand the importance of the colon inside of the digestive system. This is designed to make sure that the colon remains at the forefront of your mind when you're trying to heal any type of gut dysfunction. I'm also encouraging you to check out my video that talks about gut flow so that you have a better understanding of how gut flow should take place inside of your body. 
If you feel like this information was helpful, definitely share it with someone because you never know when you might be able to make a difference in their life. You also want to make sure that if you like this video and it was helpful, press the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell so that you'll have access to any new videos I place on YouTube. Remember what I say, it is so much easier for you to heal a gut organ when you understand its function. I'm Sage Joya and I'll see you again in the next video.